I'm going to pull up an initialized patch here. So we have just the sawtooth wave of the prologue here. First off, to make a bell, we might want to start with a square wave. And we're going to bring in a second VCO. And we're going to bring that VCO up an octave and turn it to a, a square wave too. So one more time, real quick here. We're starting with a square wave. You can hear how noisy it is in the prologue. And then we're gonna bring in one an octave up, maybe not all the way, something like that. Let's bring the first uh, square wave down an octave. So we have a lot of width there. The reason is, is because bell tones often have a lot of very high end and a lot of low end, but not a lot of mid. So we wanna simulate that with the prologue by spacing them apart by an octave. So we have a kind of Game Boy sound we can mess with the pulse with. If we don't want it to be quite as thick. Which I think wouldn't be a bad thing. We're creating a quick and dirty bell tone. Uh, what we could do is add some cross mod to this. So by doing some oscillator uh, FM, what that does is it basically imposes the pitch of the second oscillator onto the first one. Here's how it sounds. We could try that. We could try some oscillator sync. Not doing what I want. We could try the ring mod, see how that sounds. Also not giving me what I want. I think the cross mod was best. So it doesn't really sound like a bell yet. We're going to add some uh, stuff to make it sound like a bell. So amp envelope, we're going to add a lot of release. Pretty good amount of sustain. Bring the sustain all the way down at first. So I'm gonna start with sustain all the way down. That's the eventual level all the way down. So we get the really short sound, but add a lot of release. Add some, sus some sustain. Sort of get that big ringing type sound. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is add some filter. So bring the filter in. So we have these really low, almost sine wave type sounds. I'm gonna apply key tracking. What that does is it opens the filter up from depending on where on the keys you are playing. So down here it's dark, more open as you go up top. Really dark down there. That'll help it sound natural across. We'll I want it really dark. Almost like nothing there. Right? But we're going to add So that cross mod is making it have that clangorous sort of out of tune sound. So we need a little... I'm gonna try bringing this up one octave. I think it sounds better like this. Starting to get sort of a bell tone. I'm actually gonna take the first wave and make it a triangle so it has less harmonics. Well, I think it sounded better. Maybe we'll make the uh, oscillator that's up two octaves a triangle wave. I think that's sounding more bell-like. These are analog bells, by the way, not digital bells. You can get much more convincing bells with like the digital synth engine that's built in here, but I'm assuming you don't want me to do that.
So I would like to point out, we haven't added any reverb or effects. So now we're in poly mode. I'm going to increase the voice mode depth and the spread. By changing the pulse width of the first square, we can really shape the tone of the bell. I think it sounds better with a, a very narrow pulse width down there. Little resonance just to give it a bit. So we're going to add some chorus. Turn the speed down. Like a nice analog chorus sound. And then what's critical is add delay. By closing the uh, intensity of this envelope generator, we get more realistic sounding bells because real bells don't have that much high end for that long. Something like that. We try applying a low cut. I like it kind of thick. We can fuck with the cross mod. Actually kind of like it with not too much. Yeah, something like that. We can detune the higher oscillator a bit. Really getting kind of in there for what I would say a good analog bell tone would be. Did I study synthesis? No, I've just been doing this for a while. I think that's a pretty good bell tone. We could cut the sustain on the amp a bit down. Or actually leave it open now. I think that's pretty close. Peachy likes it. Aw. I love the naked kitties. Anyways, enough of that. I just wanted to go through that for you, Shane. Let's get back to what we were doing.